Hi Carlos, uh, Jeff Allen here in another one of these videos on the AI, artificial intelligence topics and you're talking about chat GPT in the enterprise context. I, I, this is, you know, this, this series I'm kind of dealing with all these topics and this is the one I really want to talk about. I, I just made another video that's going to cover this too, but I kind of want to summarize it. The enterprise, and then you, you know, you ask, you were asking about, you know, the enterprise context and what are some of the practical areas that the enterprise can be using this, and different, you know, different industries can be using Chat GDP and all that stuff for generative AI, and everything goes along with that. And some of the key things that are that, that I see from all this is, you know, I'll take from my point of view. There's no way I'm going to use Chat GP, GPT or any. AI app that's online for free in anything that I'm doing in my company, period. Because I'm just giving information security, bam, I'm just hitting that. I mean, the firewall is gone if I use it for anything. So the majority of what I work on will not get even tested on any of that kind of stuff. Now, if I had an internal system, that's a different, that's a, that's a whole different concept, right? And even I would debate whether or not to use like, even an, even if I had it, a, even a corporate account of Microsoft, Microsoft, and we have corporate accounts of a lot of stuff, and we are always told like for the speech, the speech trans, the speech, uh, the speech to text, and the te the text to text translation stuff for the corporate stuff that we're okay because we have a corporate account. I don't trust it. I don't trust. It. I don't want to be putting information in that the things being used by Microsoft, and I don't know if they're going to do it and how it's going to, and if it's going to be used to train other stuff. That's. Super risky stuff. Super risky for anything is inf confidential internal, right? Um, and internal stuff, not just confidential, but just anything internal. Because once you once you get sucked up, once you get used, once it gets re-implemented or reused to be able to test the systems, then you don't know where it can go, right? And this is when you've got some pretty unique things you're working on, which I have a few of those. I don't want it to be appearing anywhere, right? So for the for the whole enterprise context, this is it's so care you've got to be so careful about information security. And you gotta think about, you know, what's gonna be feasible and viable. And I've been talking about this. Everything's desirable. It's desirability is still simple to, you know, to, to deal with. Um but it really is where can we uh, be using this in ways that are not going to be giving information away to our competitors. This is key. And not be generating things that could, allow, again, could allow the system to do it and then give it away. And, and, and I don't want to have an idea, do some, use some things that it gets, it gets generate some things and I have it and I, then it gets memorized, you know, Machine learning, and then bam, my idea is out there now for to regenerate automatically for everybody else. No way, no way. Um, so, I mean, this is the whole thing when it's interactive too, right? So, there are things where I can see that this could be very useful. Uh, I think in the enterprise context, some things that could be useful for are things that are not, you know, not confident, not... Let's, uh, what's the word for this? I can't remember this. Um, uh, darn, I can't remember the word for this. Trade secrets, right? That is what it is. Trade secrets. Anything is trade secrets. Don't, you know, nothing is that, not that, any of that. Nothing that you want to have, but other types of things of any kinds of general common workflows, common things that we'd be doing, uh, trying to generate task lists for how to, you know, task list of, uh, okay okay here's one that I would use it for that would actually happened yesterday um in a music store where uh for lunch I go there often so that all the employees and I happen to be there sometime a lot so while they're eating so I'll you know jump for coffee but I didn't know how to use the coffee pot or actually the tea the tea thing because it didn't it didn't quite work the way that it wasn't intuitive. And I said, well, where's the, where's the user guide? <laughs> this thing, I'm kind of joking because the, 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 the owner of the music store always says, read the manual, right? Read the manual, RTFM of the pedal or something or whatever to know how it works, right? 
And so sometimes I pull out a joke from time and I, and I said to him, I said, hey, your tea kettle, where's the manual? Where's the user guide? You don't have one. So it kind of got him in that. But then, and so what it was, what was really interesting was that this is the kind of thing that I would use generative AI with, chat, GTP or whatever you want, to create a user guide on how to use a tea kettle, right? <laughs> okay. And then modify it. Or how to use, you know, or how to use the coffee pot if it's not intuitive. That I would use for. And you could use that for everybody in the company, right? I mean, that this is something that has no intrinsic value to the company, right? All it's doing is help people do some a task that is something that's not intuitive, right? Uh, that would be fine. I'm just trying to think of or like security, security stuff of how to how to create a security guide for would you have a fire, right? So fire, a fire alarm. Because I'm one of the people that, you know, helps the, I can't remember that. I know what the words are in French. I can't remember they are in English. The people that, you know, help the people get out of the building. They wear the, the yellow or the orange vests, you know, and stuff. Create a security guide. The How to get people, ground them, the crowd control and all that kind of stuff. That would be fine for using chat GPT for do it, a generator. No problem in the enterprise level because you have fire alarms from time to time, right? You even have test ones. And uh, and actually, I just remember I was saying that one because this last week they were saying, hey, we just had the test alarm and we didn't, uh, and there weren't enough people that had the vest, wearing the vest to be able to guide the people. So we want to kind of check with that and so, Hey, make a guide, you know, make a generate a guide with it. You know, that's fine. Easy to do. What are the, what are the steps of getting people out of a building, right? There's nothing confidential about that. Uh, how to, uh, you know, for the, for the, the company restaurant, how to, uh, uh, how to, uh, get your plates and stuff and go to each of the stands and all the, these booths or the food, the food cart things and whatever. This is not corporate information. This is just basic stuff, right? All the things you got to go through to, to do something. I mean, I'm just kind of gen giving a few ideas. I'm not saying that we have to do these. I'm just saying that these are the types of things you can actually apply in a cor company that have value for that or how to get reimbursements, right? Um, how to ask for re the in process for asking reimbursements for your, for your expenses. Nothing, nothing confidential about that, right? In general, um, these are some things where it has a high value of generating those texts. But again, everything that is comes down to these, these topics of Pat, uh, patentable ideas or ideas that are unique or trade secrets or whatever. This type of stuff is a no-go for using any of these kinds of AI solutions that are open to anybody to, 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 to use. So hopefully that gives a little bit of my perspective on that. And, and from telecom or like telecom, I'm thinking, how could I do this for my telecom field, right? When I worked in telecom. Or how, duh, for um, when I worked at Caterpillar, how to drive the, the how to drive a twelve lever machine. Okay, this is not difficult to to use for generative. I think there's nothing specific about that, right? Um, that that I would do uh, for telecom. Uh, how is a what are the differences between a 2G network, a 3G, a 2G network, a 2.5G network, so GSM, GPRS, a 3G network with edge, 4G network, and 5G network? What are the principal, what are the main differences between each one of these types of networks? Generate all that, and then you've got something to explain to people, right? That'd be a good idea. This is nothing critical. It's not about not wanting telecom solutions there. I'm not training people on a specific thing. I'm just trying to explain some of these things. That's okay for giving like a conference talk because some people just don't know the difference between them, right? Uh, what else? What kind of other fields I've worked in? Um, pharmaceutical domain. You know, what, what are the kind of procedures for writing down the prescription or taking a prescription, right? Uh, taking some kind of medication and stuff. That could be... You got to check it because it could kill people if you give them the wrong prescription, right? But uh, this, uh, that's happened to me. I had, 
I think somebody didn't write the pharmacist didn't write down this stuff uh, correctly or didn't reconvert it, and so it kind of made me pretty sick. But using these kinds of steps to generate things and validate it, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Just gonna need to make sure that the facts are correct, right? So those are a few of my ideas. Uh, I've got plenty more, but I just want to show that it's possible to to show what is what is valuable, what has business value for certain industries, and what it doesn't. Uh, and you know how could we do this in an enterprise context? Uh, be careful. It's my 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 main my main caveat in all this stuff. Just be careful for information security reasons. For for uh, confidentiality. For you know information breaches. That's not cool. Um, and uh, and you now business value. What is it? what is it is it going to be valuable or not? Um, just it's not just because sexy it's going to work right thanks so much